Welcome back, everyone. Let's get uh, let's continue what we were doing before. So before uh, so we were doing this call to find all. Uh, this is great, uh, but th the thing is, remember generator functions will look for the yield keyword, and that's when you call next. It's gonna go all the way to the. It's gonna execute everything up to the yield keyword and then it's going to yield that back uh, we don't we should have a yield keyword in line 7 here actually uh, so we're going to do it the following way so we're going to yield the call to find out so that the middleware will come here oh, and find yield okay so I'm going to suspend this function execution here we're going to make this call and since, since it is an asynchronous call, it's going to wait until this promise is resolved before going forward. So it waits for this guy. If it succeeds, it takes the value resolved by this return promise and assigns it to the variable fruits. Now the value is going to be the list of objects, list of fruits. Now after that, it's going to go to the next yield statement because the middleware keeps calling the uh, to execute the, the function right so it's gonna go to the next yield okay and it's gonna take the instruction to put to dispatch an action we're gonna dispatch the action fetch fruit succeeded with the payload fruits so that's great with this what we have to do now is handle this action in the reducer so let's do that let me save this go back to the reducer file and here in the reducer uh, we are going to do a switch for the action type okay and then what we're going to do is case batch fruits was succeeded right we are going to do the follow we are going to return a copy of the state with the fruits now coming from action dot payload if you want to add a default switch it's fine I don't really care much here it's expecting a default you can add that too it's just going to be the state as is so we don't really need this guy anyway so in the reducer once it gets an action and that action is fetch fruit succeeded it means it needs to update the state now fruits is going to be the action payload okay and who emitted this action it was the redux saga middleware right remember anyway let me save this I'm gonna go to Firefox and see what's happening it's failed to compile reducer does not contain the default export what happened here switch what's going on let me see that's really error attempted import error dot slash reducer does not contain a default export See, so it's saying that it does not contain a default export from the index.js. Port reducer from reducer, switch, action type, case this guy, then the return. fruits 
could it be this guy that it doesn't have yet let me just try this maybe it does not have support for the triple dot turn object assign new object copy from the state and copy from and this object fruits action dot payload let's try that out there you go it seems like I don't have support for the triple dot here yet I have to add a babel preset and a babel preset to the project anyway you probably have it if you know what I'm talking about babel preset to add this feature that's not in ES6 but beyond anyway uh, what we what I did here is the following I, I create a new object copy the properties from state into the new object and copy the this new object fruits with a list of fruits into that object and return this new state equivalent of this if you have this triple triple dot uh, transform babel transform that uh, transpiles this okay so <coughs> what happened here we have our list right let's refresh do you see loading there it takes two seconds to load um so let's clear this and try again look at the log so an action was dispatched from redux we don't care current app state is fruits null then it does the console log of the props of the app we don't care so an action was dispatched and that's what that was the fetch fruits request is right and and then fruits is still no and then Another action was dispatched. Fetch fruit succeeded with a payload. And look at that payload. It's an array of three objects, the apple, orange, and strawberry fruits. Great. So it updates the state after getting this succeeded action in the reducer and returns. It's reflects in the UI. That's great. Let's review what we how it all happened. So Starting from app.js, when it mounts, we call the action creator fetch fruits. This action creator is bound, so it will dispatch the action returned by the action creator, which is fetch fruits requested. Now, the saga is listening for the fetch fruits requested and intercepts that and it say, okay, I'm going to take this, the latest action with this type, with the take latest effect. And I'm going to call this fetch fruits generator function. And it passes the action here as the argument. So it goes through and uh, goes calls find all, gives an instruction to the middleware to call the find all method, which returns a promise. Now, this fetch fruits function will be suspended until find all resolved with a value. Now, that value will go into the variable fruits. Then, when this guy is assigned a value, it's going to the next line with the put de declarative effect. This is an instruction to dispatch an action. Saga middleware dispatches the fresh fruits succeeded action with the payload as being the fruit list, the list of objects. Then, that's it. It reflects there in the reducer when it gets the fetch fruit succeeded action returns a new state with the fruits now being the action payload which in turn is reflected in our app.js render function because we are taking the fruits as props state of fruits and that changes from null to a list with three elements that causes a re-render render is called again now this dot props dot fruits is no longer null, so this loading message will not appear. Instead, we're going to get a fruit list 
with the list of fruits. Okay? So that's it for this lesson. And until the next one.